Hi and welcome to another 5 minute tip. In this tip, we're going to look at one of the options for the cylinder primitive, the slice option. And we're also going to look at how we can use that with the bool object in order to create a cool cutaway effect. To get started, let's look at the option I'm talking about. In Cinema 4D, we can create a cylinder. It's one of the most basic primitives and it works really well for a lot of different things. You can go to the caps and you can add a fillet to the caps. It's, it's pretty versatile. One of the things you can do is you can slice it, meaning you can make it basically look like a slice of cake or a cake with a slice missing. Now this is an interesting option, but I doubt that many of us use this option very frequently. I'm going to show you one way that I've found to use it. I'm just going to go back to my turbocharger model. So this is a model I created a while ago, and it's a subdivision model of a turbocharger. Oftentimes we see animations where uh, we would take part of the turbine housing and we might explode the view so that you can sort of see it separated like that. You might do the same to the other housing and split everything apart while seeing the inside. And while this is a really cool effect, it's also pretty cool to slice open the housing so you can see the insides working. Here's how you can do it with that cylinder. I'm going to create a cylinder and scale it down. And I'm going to position it so that we can sort of cut into the turbo. It needs to be oriented on the x-axis. And we're just going to turn the slice option on. I'm going to slice from 0 to 120 degrees. So now we have the slice option activated. Probably want to go to the front view or the side view and make sure that our cylinder is sort of centered on our turbine. Once it's centered enough, we can make sure it's large enough to cover the area we want to slice. And then we reach for our bool object. So right here from this menu, I'm going to grab a bool object and it works in the paradigm of A minus B by default. So the A object is going to be the turbo and the B object is going to be the cylinder. So we make sure the turbo comes above the cylinder in the hierarchy. And then we just move this into place, we should see it slice. Now because of the nature of the bool object and how complex this hierarchy is, if you sort of move it into the wrong position, things might start to freak out in Cinema 4D land. So let's make sure it just cuts into a little bit of the housing for now, just like that. Now the next thing is we don't want it to cut all the objects. For instance, right now it's cutting into the shaft as well, and that's not really what I want. So to fix that, I'm going to duplicate the turbocharger hierarchy so that we have two turbochargers one where this compressor housing is missing and one where all that's remaining is the compressor housing. So all I need to do is control drag my turbo out of the boolean. The one that's not being cut is going to have everything except the turbine housing. The one that is being cut, I want to only have the turbine housing. So I'm going to delete all of these other objects. So now we have this turbo, which is just the housing. And then we have this other turbo, which is everything but that housing bit. The Boolean should perform a lot better now. It shouldn't glitch and disappear like it was before. And now we can sort of say, okay, let's cut into it that much. To see that pathway. So. Now you can kind of see where we're going with this. Once we have this set up, we can take the cylinder and we can animate the slice value to see the turbocharger get cut into. So let's see how that works. Just so we can see things a bit more clearly, I'm going to create a red material and we'll use that as our section color, sort of to color the area that's being cut. And I'll just apply that to the cylinder. So now everywhere the cylinder is cutting into, we get this red accent. It's pretty cool. So 
We can also rotate the cylinder so that we're cutting an appropriate section of the turbo. And we may need to make the cylinder larger so that it covers the entire object that we're trying to cut into. The next step is just to animate it. So what we can do is decide how much we want to animate. Right now it's 120 degrees and I like how that looks. So it goes from 0 to 120. In our timeline, if we go to 0 frames and set the 2 value to 0, and then control click the dot to set a keyframe, and then we can go to about 30 frames, set the 2 value to 120, control click to set another keyframe, then we've just animated the value. As we drag our time slider back and forth, we can see the cylinder's slice size animating, and then it cuts into our turbocharger. So if we had this turbo model and we wanted to zoom in and do our camera move, and then as the animation played, we would see it get cut into. And we can tweak this animation in all manners. We can have um, rounded corners on the cylinder, for instance. Right now, the area where it cuts into is sharp. If we turned on the fillet option, the area where it cuts into might be a little bit round in some cases. It's not really very visible in this example. But you can do pretty much whatever you want here, and you get this really cool effect of it cutting into your other object. So I'm sure you guys can think of tons of ways to apply this, but this is just one way I thought of applying it. So I hope you enjoyed this tip, and until next time, see ya.